his right, and his left foot shot into the bottom corner. Made it 1-0 for South Africans. And uh, Zambia were forced to come out of their shell somewhat, which they did with a certain aplomb. And they've been very effective in exerting pressure. Their crosses have been good. And from one of those, an own goal came, a rather painful own goal on the 30th minute from the number two, Seribon. But it was more the fault of Makize, the goalkeeper, who mistimed his run. We all thought he was going to get the ball, but it actually went through his hands. And more or less hit Seribi on the, he hit Seribi on the head. So he was in the perfect position to nod that ball deep into the back bulging into the back of his own net so uh, what a piece it is shot on goal tame one at that So, approaching half time, there's been very few stoppages. I don't think the referee is going to have more than a couple of minutes on. Maybe one or two. Corner for Zambia. The assistant referees today Abul Barber of Nigeria and Olivier Kabeni of DR Congo. Ball to the back here where this handy number seven and Goma picks it up. Sakala. Now to Ngoma again. A little shimmy and he gets his cross over. A little bit too much legs on it. Can we get a shot in here? Nobody wants to do it. It's the Mr. Gold Dust you're looking for, the one who's prepared to apply the killer touch. And few are they. We've got the guts to be what Jose Mourinho at Chelsea calls the hunting dog. Can't go hunting with cats, he says. Gotta go hunting with a dog. One minute, add it on, just on one. So here, that's this Stad Leopold Setter Senghor. One all as we head into the last 40 seconds or so of this first half. South Africa took the lead with a slick goal on the 24th minute. Moran's defence splitting pass, greeted by Zulu's slick control on his right foot and a deft flick of the left foot. And the ball was in the back of the net in the bottom corner with the goalkeeper strewn on his backside. Nothing he could do about it. And uh, the equaliser came from a similar sort of situation there. The ball dropping towards the back post, goalkeeper missing it. And a defender, a hapless defender, unfortunately, nodding the ball into the back of his own net. Seribon was the man, that's it. Three shrill blasts of his whistle. The fabulously named uh, Justo Zio from Burkina Faso, our referee today. Sending the two sides into half time at one apiece. It's the, it's the uh, dead rubber match as it stands. They would both be level on one point. 
Zambia and South Africa at the bottom of this group, but with South Africa having a worse goal difference than their Zambian rivals, they would take the wooden spoon. Anyway, don't go too far away. We'll be back in uh, five or ten minutes with full live coverage of the second half. I'm Damien McCauley watching Sport 5 at the Orange African Under-20 Championship Senegal 2015. See you in a bit. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Stad Leopold Sedo Senghor for the Orange African Under-20 Championship, Senegal 2015. Match day three, Group B, wooden spoon match between South Africa and Zambia. In the picture there, don't know who the guy on the left is, but the guy in the middle was uh, Isa Hayatu, President of the African, African Football Federate Confederation, Cameroonian, former middle distance runner. Mangani in the goal, on his knees praying. So it's 1-1, half time in this game. This Group B game, tell you about the past games they both lost their first two uh, Ghana went into this match day three they're playing Ghana are playing Mali We're just joining us Ghana and Mali both have six points Zambia and South Africa have none South Africa have a slightly worse goal difference of minus three rather than Zambia's minus two so as it stands South Africa are bottom of this group they need to win the match to to dig themselves out of that particular hole. They looked the better side on paper. In the first half, they got their goal. A very slick affair it was, if you weren't watching. Scored after 24 minutes. Zulu, the man, with the golden touch. Dispatched the first goal. Second goal was an own goal after a deep cross from a corner. Goalkeeper at fault there. The key's it. South African goalkeeper is slipped beyond his grasp. And the ball landed on the hapless head of Cabello Sariba. And the ball was bulging in the back of his own net before he could say Jack Robinson. So There you have it. What a piece it is. Watching Sport 5. I'm Danny McCall. We'll be with you for the next 45 minutes. I'll be keeping you up to date with what's going on in the other match. 1 0 for Mali over there, over Ghana. Mali leading Ghana 1 0 from the first half. kick out this time and it was a very long kick out Mangani Banda number 14 goes down so it looks like it took a knock to the back of the head but he's up and uh, there's a substitute about to come on number 12 Benson Sakala going off number 19 Kelvin Chinyama coming on in his place.
So, South Africa, of course, playing in that traditional strip, yellow and green. Zambians in the green shirts, green socks, black shorts. See what they can build now. Deep ball, but it goes straight to a rather isolated defender, to be honest. Nobody, no yellow shirts anywhere near him. And Zambia now coming forward, thanks to that. Two men on the left without without a marker. And he chooses to dribble through the middle. Maybe he knows them better than I do. Here we go. In front of well, it's a shame that uh, that was offside. One of the better players for Zambia in this match, Patrick and Goma. No offside, anyway. Not offside. What a dreadful decision that was. Again, from the linesman. Down the right, South Africa. Zambia again, seek to build something. They're looking for the go ahead goal. They've started this second half in a more lively mood than their, than their opponents, but that was a great backtracking tackle. And there's life in this game. You get the feeling there might be a few goals yet to come. And it looks like he's going to go for his gun, the referee, and get a card out. Look at that for a great tackle. Number 13 for South Africa. Hats off to him. Mocheja Madisha, the captain, with a very good tackle indeed. So somebody just got booked. Championships. This match, by the way, played under milder conditions than yesterday. It was about 30 degrees yesterday, about 22 today. Perfect conditions for a game of football. As the evening creeps nearer. Look at that, great run into the box. Unfortunately, let the ball get a little bit too far away from his feet at a crucial moment. And uh, all that blood and thunder came to nothing. Oh, on the edge of the box, and get a shot in, shoot. Shoots wide. Unfortunately, let's take a look. What happened to him here? Yeah, well, he, ca he caught the ball, didn't catch it squarely at all. Big pity. Mars Marasain, the man with the through ball for the first goal, was the man who got the yellow card. Same anyway. Actually, it was Moran who, who got that, not Marsen. He's on as a substitute. So, yellow card for him anyway. Cool. 
by Sane. Good header, good solid header. Zambia looking the more determined so far in the first eight or nine minutes of this second half. One a piece here, if you just joined us, somebody, somebody would call this a dead rubber. It's a wooden spoon match, really. See who comes bottom of the group. South Africa fighting for a victory that would see them claw their way off the bottom of Group B. They have no points so far from their first two. Neither of these sides has a single point between them. Both got negative goal difference. Of course, they did well to get to these finals, where they were drawn in the same group as Mali and Ghana, who are currently slugging out, it out in the city's other stadium, where Mali are winning 1-0, which would put them top of this group on nine points. If that match finishes that way, they would play Senegal and Ghana would play Nigeria, which I'm not sure you'd really want to do. Well, another Modiba coming on the number 12 for the number 11. Marseille is off, and I've got a feeling that Marseille was indeed himself a substitute, so it's not good. So, looks like United beat. Tottenham, 3 0. On the edge of the box, then, South Africa looking for a way through. And it's 2 1. South Africa have taken the lead again. And that was a nice finish from the number seven as uh, Sandoz side foots home. A lovely pass, a searching pass. It's 2 1. That lovely pass there. Finished off brilliantly by Sandoz on the edge of the six yard box. I think it caught the Zambian defence napping. It's 2 1. Sandoz the man. So start, there's the, well, we're going to have the, re the restart. <coughs> so, still one apiece in the other game. 57 minutes gone here. Uh, could there be another goal? Here's Sandow's the goal scorer again. Crosses. Well, I'm not sure what that was. Was it a cross or a uh, searching shot? Either way, on the edge of the box, pressure being applied. There's the goal from Sandow's side footing home. From Madiba, who just come on that second as a substitute. Fantastic stuff then. Coach will have been happy with his substitution. Zambia coach. Big fella. 2-1 then. And the two goals have both been slick, and the, it has to be said, they were good, well-taken goals, well-built. I really like South African style of football. Oh, 
<clears throat> well, they're playing a bit higher. Zambia in this second half, that's for sure. Oh, almost got the through ball in there, the number 14. Mona Modi is looking for a way through. As uh, Malenga gets pushed over. Not sure how much of a push he took. Down he went. This fella probably been Zambia's best player. Patrick Ngoma was unfortunate to be called offside earlier when he was anything but offside. When you look at the replay, he really was two seconds onside. And uh, so that was unfortunate. He uh, missed kicked the ball on the edge of the box when he might have done better. But he's been a general all round menace some very good moments too for Zambia currently trailing 2-1 in this match day three round robin game of group B of his 2015 Orange African Nations Championships under 20s tournaments coming at you from Senegal So, inside the box, that's a peculiar ball. Wasn't exactly a back pass from Tembo, Simon Tembo, but he definitely touched him last. He's trying to defend in some way, so I guess it doesn't count as a pass. And uh, Magani Banda just picked it up, carried on. See if Mike knew what he was doing. An hour gone here, 2-1 then. South Africa deserving their lead, despite the fact that Zambia came out looking a bit perkier in the first half than they did in the first 10 minutes of the first half. The main difference in the first half was uh, perhaps a lack of ambition from Zambia. Sitting back. They really do specialise in this little passing game. You know, they probably you can imagine them sat round, stood round, passing to each other constantly in training. Oh, look at this! Can he get the shot in? And the shot is brilliant. What a great goal! What a great finish! That really was kind of spectacular from Zulu, who doubles up his tally. Zulu, the scorer, another left foot shot. Take a look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Nice cross it was. Left-footed shoot.